Hey everybody, Dave Fod here from OutsideOurBubble.com and we're going to add a little brightness to your life. No, I don't mean drinking or anything like that. That actually would bring you the other way, I think. It all depends on who you are, I guess. But what I do mean by adding brightness to your life is light bulbs, LED lamps for, to be exact, and putting them in your brake light system. Now, not only your brakes, your directionals and everything else. And the reason you want to do that is because they're really bright compared to the normal ones. Now, understand that there's a lot of different ones of these on the market. And they all come in colors and stuff like that and all kinds of things. And they're all different shapes and sizes and colors and quantities and qualities, actually, I found out. So you need to find out, for first and foremost, what your light bulb type is that you have in your RV if you want to replace them. In this particular case, below in the description, I have the links to these, which is for this particular coach um, or this particular brake light system. So, if you happen to have a Tiffin product that has these lights in them that look like this, these, then you'll be able to use the light bulbs that I mentioned in this little project. So good for you. If not, you got some hunting to do. <laughs> so what else can I say? But basically, uh, I'll, put a, I'll put a list below with the, the quantity you're going to need of each one in order to, to, to replace them if you'd like to. And I'll show you before and after results of how bright these little suckers are. Now, so you know, right now these lights are on and it's bright out, very bright out. And if you look over this, this, this right here, I have these light bulbs, these lamps in here. These are all regular. I'm going to replace them with these. Okay, the ones over here, however, these already have LEDs in them. Now look, they're in direct sunlight right now and you can still see those flashers. So that's pretty cool. And you can also see the running lights. These would be the reverse lights, which obviously I don't have on, um, but these would be your daylight running lights and your brake lights. And these would be your directionals. These will go two times brighter when I hit the brakes. So we're gonna replace those very simply with these. We'll show you how. Okay, just give us a second to get in position here. Ow, damn it. Hit my head. Okay, so I think Brenda's in position. And basically, all you're doing in here, guys, it's very, very, very simple. The other side is more difficult because you have the air vent from the air intake system um, in the way. But in this particular case, what you're looking for is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different lights you have to change. And they're in various types and sizes, as I said. Oops, oh crap, dropped one. So, oh, of course I dropped one of the little ones. So in any case, all you're gonna do is you're gonna reach in here. This is a brake light. I'm not gonna touch that one because I already, a reverse light, I already did that. Um, this is, this is basically a running light. Look how little that sucker is. So all you're gonna do is pull out the little running light. Oops and you're going to put in this little running light which happens to be red which means it'll be much brighter and better than the one that we just took out dang it i dropped it again that's two i dropped now oh found the other one okay so have them here i'm gonna take this wire right here put it in here like this and just push it in simple as that and see, it's red, which means it's very bright LED. Um, so you're not relying just on the lens filter for the brake light. You're actually using a red LED with a red filter, which actually makes it actually brighter. And then it's just as simple as snapping it back in place like that. So we just basically go and do that to each one of these. So the one up here, you'll find ugh, they just twist, by the way. I say that as I struggle, right? Oh, come on. See, this is why I make these videos for you guys, right? So you can watch me make a fool of myself trying to change a stupid light bulb. So, okay, there we go. So, same thing, little light, gonna be replaced. Ugh. By the way, these have been on, so they're a little hot. <laughs> gonna be replaced with one of these. And again, you're just gonna snap it in there like that. Simple as that, and put it back.
and again twist into place I think I know I just don't have it lined up okay there all locked in so then on the other side the further out that's where you're going to find your directional on top and then your your brake lights so the directional is interesting because you'll see they use an amber bulb and it's yellow ow 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 down for video purposes this we're on don't do this when you're ow dang. don't do this when you're just uh putting them in yourself <laughs> now because of that i actually have amber leds which are nice so when i put that in look at that ain't that awesome that's cool so now we're gonna put that back up there all the way up there snap it in and now the brake light that's your brake light this is what it's in in running light mode it's a dual light that's running light mode right now yes it's gonna be hot i know watch out ah. okay i dropped that when it was so hot and now what i'm going to replace that with is a dual um a, du a, a dual red light for my brake lights ah. so that's running light mode so it's dim but when you apply the brakes it will go double the brightness or actually i think it's almost three times the brightness for the brake part and we're just going to snap that into place simple as that really so um i have two more of these to go so i'm just going to quickly do them remember there's you got four lights um two 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 lights on each side four lights total so i'm just going to quickly replace the other ones so uh, brake light with brake light and signal light amber signal light ow 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 ow, ow. with amber signal light so okay drop that right back in there it really is as simple as that now that is done and now i have these super super brake lights that are really really bright and i'll show you now in my video this is what they look like uh, in the daytime. So I'm going to switch over to the video here and you can see them in the daytime. And then, so, so this is what you're seeing here. This is what it looks like in the daytime. Now remember, on the, on, on the left side of the coach here, it's more in direct sunlight. And those are the LEDs in this, what you're seeing right now. On this side of the coach, the right side of the coach, those are the regular ones. And actually it's not as bright sunlight wise over here. So please take that into account when you're seeing these and uh you can see the difference in the daylight you got, hopefully you should be able to see the right side is got so much brightness and the left side um be, being being led and more sunlight is just as bright at least so that's kind of cool right okay so let me show you the nighttime stuff because that's where it really comes in big time the nighttime stuff looks like this now look at that really bright and this is with the brake lights on too so this is, you can see the difference between with LEDs and without LEDs at nighttime. And if people can't see you breaking now, there's a problem. <laughs> Same thing goes for the daytime because there's so much brighter in the daytime that if they can't see you breaking in the daytime or your directional mainly because the new amber directional lights are super bright, there's something wrong. And speaking of which, don't forget the side marker lights. The side marker lights look like this. And I've already replaced the bulbs in these. There, it, it takes two per side. Um, a top one is a running light and the bottom one is a directional. And you can see how bright these lamps are. And once again, those are a special one that you have to buy because they have to be able to fit in this little fitting. So I've listed every one of these in the video description below in the YouTube channel. And if it's on my, if you're looking at it on the blog page, I have them listed here on our Outsider Bubble blog page on replacing your LED lights. That's about it. That's how we add a little brightness to your life, <laughs> or at least to your coach. I'm David Bob from Outsider Bubble. Hey, look, if you like what we do, please click subscribe. Really appreciate you guys out there. And uh, hey, we'll see you on the road, even making it more easy to see you now. Take care. Keep safe. Bye. You, you light up my life. Oh, God. <laughs>